chemistry, we have cool tests to determine whether a particular gas is this or that. Now, there are several gases that are usually tested upon. This is knowledge that will be required in your theory in paper 1 and paper 2, as well as practically in paper 3, where you can at times be asked to test for whether you have the presence of a certain gas or not. Now, let's start with the first one, oxygen gas. If you want to test whether a certain gas is oxygen or not, simple, use a glowing splint. What is a glowing splint, you ask? A glowing splint is simply when you take a wooden splint, light it on fire, put out the flame, it glows, right? That is a glowing splint. Now, when you introduce a glowing splint in a container having oxygen, it's going to be light. So that is the test for oxygen. Remember, oxygen supports combustion. So when it relights, that means that oxygen gas is present. So the test for oxygen gas is that it relights a glowing split. And that is the procedure you need to follow. Moving on to the next gas, hydrogen gas. If you want to test for the presence of hydrogen gas, what do you use? You use a burning splint, guys. You use a burning splint. So you're going to take a wooden splint, light it on, and then place it into the suspected container. Now, if, if the flame goes out with a pop sound, then ladies and gentlemen, that is hydrogen for you. So hydrogen puts out a burning splint with a pop sound. Last one, carbon four oxide. Now, when testing for carbon four oxide, we use a chemical known as calcium hydroxide, also commonly referred to as lime water. Now, lime water is a colorless liquid. It's clear. But when you bubble carbon four oxide into it, it forms a white precipitate. Now, the reason for this is because carbon four oxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to form an insoluble solid, and that is calcium carbonate. So the precipitate you're seeing is because calcium carbonate is insoluble in water and therefore forms a white precipitate. A point of note is this. Some books might refer to the formation to a cloudy, milky what Don't. It's formation of a white precipitate with calcium hydroxide. And look at what is happening. A white precipitate has been formed. And those are the three tests for three common gases in chemistry. See you next time.